And it's in that granular improvement, that granular climb up that steep hill to get to the next plateau that you find the courage to go bigger. Imagine I have a passion to create the most beautiful paintings that ever existed in the world. And yet I only painted one and nobody bought it. How much would my passion continue to bubble over if nobody wanted what I offered and I really didn't do much more of the thing that I say I'm passionate about? And what would happen with my credibility if I told everybody that I want to be a world-renowned painter known forever and yet I only did one painting and nobody liked it? Well, think about this. How do you become an expert at something? How do you dominate something? How do you actually get known for being the best? You do it by amplifying and magnifying your impact. Well, business is the same way. I can't say I'm going to be an expert. I'm going to be the best and not have anybody elevate myself or what I do to the next level because then I can't claim I'm the best. Here's the point. If you want to achieve freedom, financial freedom and, and passion freedom, right? It's like take your passion and you want to be able to create freedom in your life to where, look, a lot of people have been passionate about something. I think of my stepfather. He's passionate about changing hearing care. He's passionate about the impact that people get when they can hear again. He's never been worried about making money. He's never been sitting there going through the P&L and worrying. He just has always done what he's passionate about doing. And he's created a business that's worth multiple billions of dollars pursuing his passion by being absolutely the best at what he and his team does. But no one that went to work for him, look, if when you were his first employee, the message wasn't different then as it is today if you're thir if you're his 3800 employee the message or the 5000th employee globally the message is still the same we are going to impact the lives of the people that we serve through better hearing like it is so clear he said it from day 1 even when I was a little tiny kid and his passion has been about the perfection and approach in doing that size matters because the bigger you get the more impact you create and if you get that flywheel, the hardest part's getting the flywheel going. Now managing the elements perfectly and flawlessly in the flywheel will never happen. Success doesn't happen with perfect and flawless execution. It happens with flawed execution. It's how you handle when it is flawed that either allows you to elevate to the next level or become irrelevant. And this is important because business owners that struggle end up recontracting and becoming small again so they can control what they have. Well, size matters because the impact matters. If you're passionate about something, and in fact, I would, I would make this statement. Most business owners that try to grow, try to become uh, significant in the thing that they're passionate about that struggled and then went backwards and then stayed small became most of them become very unhappy they lose their passion for the business because the business consumes their time it consumes their energy it consumes their mind share and they become bitter and angry because it's not giving back to them in the same proportionate value that they're contributing to it so when you stay small in your business it grinds you down it wears you out so at the beginning the things you did to be passionate and go out and pursue excellence and pursue your success you start avoiding those things because they become a weight on you because they haven't broke through and then your business steals your ambition it steals your passion because it drowns it with the complexity of needing to get up and do the next thing and the next thing over and over and over now some of the best businesses in the world do the same thing over and over and over and over 
better every day, granular incremental improvement, which is what Jim Collins talks about, innovation, two types, radical something new or innovation from granular, granularly improving the thing that you know works and making it better and striving to do that every single day so your impact can become more profound. You have to grow your business in order to take the boredom and the redundance out of the business. You need, to re, you need to bring people in to do the things that you've been doing to get it to work so you can go do the next thing that creates the next evolution of growth. When you grow and you find success in, this, in, in, in the things that you're doing and you are able to align other people with, the, it gives you the courage and the ambition to go to the next level. When you screw that up or fail or get beat back, it's in those learnings. What did I do wrong? Given the opportunity, how would I do it differently? And then moving into the different level of execution so you can have a different level of success. And it's in that granular improvement, that granular climb up that steep hill to get to the next plateau that you find the courage to go bigger. And if you want to attract more higher level doers and thinkers, you need to have growth so they have an opportunity to succeed inside your business. You have to grow or you will lose your key contributors because at some point they'll say, it's not growing enough for me to accomplish my personal, professional, and financial goals.